Well, what's going on, y'all? I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. You know, we spent time with family and awesome friends. But what is the most exciting about it right now is my wife is amazing. The most amazingly beautiful person in the world, and she loves me. And we're going on a road trip right now, me and Wade. Okay, so Wade and I made it to our destination. Okay, tell them where we are, Wade. Georgia. Georgia. We came all the way down to Georgia, which honestly from where we live, it's, it was an hour and two minute drive. But a little context into why we took a trip. Well, if you know, if you've been with me for a little while, you know I have my little Traeger grill and I've been crying about it for a, a, a good little while now because it's been messing up on me and it's, and it's kind of small. Um, and, you know, Traeger nor any other grill company ever heard me, but my wife heard me. And she surprised me with a Rectech. So I we ordered it, and I called them this morning. And I said, I'm an hour away from you. Instead of you shipping it, how about I come pick it up? Because I've never been down here anyways. I've heard great stories about this place and how amazing it is. And all, honestly, pulling in, I felt like we were pulling into a theme park. I mean, like just look at, look at the sign. I mean, look at the entrance to the showroom makes you feel like you're in a theme park. So, we're gonna go in here and explore and pick up our new grill, okay? But first, we we're gonna go take a picture in front of the big bullhead. Okay, now the camera's recording. Put your arms up and be like, Listen, customer service here is amazing. Okay, so I walked in and I was like, I'm gonna wait in line to talk to the person and let them know, hey, I'm here to pick up my grill. The dude asked me, hey, you ready to check out? And I let him know what was going on. He goes, oh, you're Jesse. We already got stuff going on, waiting for you at the customer pickup. I'm like, yeah, you know my name? I'm just kidding. Of course they know my name. Hot sauce, Reaper hot sauce. It's just, it's just so cool. So they're just, I'm just gonna feel me inside this little area, then we're gonna go pick up our grill. I'm so excited. This is what we need right here, Wade. This is what we need. This has got an infrared side and a smoke side. That's what we need right there. Ooh, look at this. You see that eel in there? Eel. Look, I'm back. You see it? That's his body. I don't know where his head is. It's like wrapped around, you can't see it. Can you see his head? Oh, it's right there at the top. He just moved his head. Made it back home. It's time to unload. Not really unload. We're not gonna unload it. It's time to assemble it. Uh, on the website, it says it takes about 90 minutes <laughs> to assemble it. It's an hour and a half. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna time lapse this thing. This is probably one of the coolest parts of it. Rectech! <laughs> Put him on your head, little bull. Little bull, show the camera, little bull. Little bull. So I've never actually been like an instructions kind of guy. Like, not not saying that like, I mean, I don't know. I've always enjoyed taking things apart and putting them back together. So, 
as I'm doing things, I can kind of look and see what, you know, like what, uh, I can kind of look and see on how it's put together. Basically just, there has been some trial and error many times, but there's a lot of times it's just very self explanatory. Uh, I, 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 didn't, I don't think there's a book with it. I know you can download the instructions online. And if I get to a spot where like, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, or don't know like what goes what. But honestly, this thing is very self-explanatory. Of course, it's nice to have like your own your own drill and everything because they do give you this little tool. <clears throat> they do give you this little tool. Comes with it for all the people who are, you know don't have the tools. But fortunately, I do have the tools to make it easy. heavy. Excuse me, my good man. That whole 40 pound bag went in there. It's got a 40 pound 
hopper in it. Just plugged it up. Really the last thing to do is run it through a heat cycle. Uh, it burns off any kind of like manufacturing grease that's on there. Whenever you have welds or, or stainless steel, things like that, it's always gonna have some kind of oil on it that you wanna cook off first. So I'm gonna run that and then that's it, you know? I guess you'll see me cook on it some other time. Just kidding. We're gonna run through the cycle and I don't even know what we're going to cook on tonight, but we're going to cook on it. I won't leave y'all hanging like that. You know me. Alright, so I just put on what I'm going, what I'm cooking on the new Rectech. It's going to be hard not to say Traeger. On the new Rectech. I will give you a hint. I'm going to let you guess before I even show you. So I'm show you the very end of the video. I'm going to give you a hint though. I used Rectech seasoning, okay, some rub. It's called heifer dust okay so let's see if you can guess before the end of the video comment what you think i'm cooking what do you what do you think the the maiden voyage of the new rectech 1100 the flagship 1100 right maiden voyage of the flagship what do you think i'm cooking on it for dinner tonight the very first cook what do you think it is okay all that surface area too think about that all that surface area okay so it's going, and now uh, we're going. We, I mean, this is it. That's it. Next time you see me, I'm going to show you what we have, what we're cooked, what we have cooked, what we're cooked. Use language, right? <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be showing you what we have cooked. Heifer dust. Just, just think of heifer dust and surface area. Okay. Do you think you guessed right? Or are you just waiting for me to tell you before you even make a comment? I don't know. But I'm going to show you right now what it is. Ready? Are you ready? Chicken wings! <laughs> yeah, that rub on these chicken wings, I already had one. Can you see this? Can you just see the goodness? So good. Did I read what's in the the, the thing? I might, I might not have. I'm going to tell you what is in the rub. Salt, pepper, garlic, ancho chili powders. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what just fell. Smoked paprika, granulated onion, and parsley. That's it so good i know it says half a rub it's good for steaks and stuff like that but these i just wanted to use my new rub on it so i didn't have any steaks i didn't have any meat really on like any like red meat to use so we did the chicken wings and it's delicious amazingly delicious like Just what an amazing first voyage of the flagship was those chicken wings. And I'm very happy because the amount of surface space, like they all fit on there just perfectly. I can even do more. I'm just very happy. I'm excited for this. I'm very thankful for my wife, Chastity. She's amazing. And she really loves me. She really does. So, yeah. Stick around because we're going to do some amazing things with this thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, hey, appreciate you hanging out.